Hi friends and welcome to the video. If you've never seen my face before, I'm Olivia and as you can see behind me, I am a fragrance enthusiast, reviewer, whatever you'd like to call me. And if you have seen my face before, hi friends, we suddenly have sun. I'm so excited for it. We have been in the gloom for so long and now it's sunny outside. So today we're kicking it off with another video in my series of summer perfume recommendations but we're breaking it down by category and today's category is summer gourmand fragrances. Specifically, I'm talking about dessert-like fragrances, but the thing about gourmand fragrances is a lot of them are very, very heavy and sticky and sweet and don't always fare the best in warm weather. They can tend to get a little bit nauseating, but I found some that are on the lighter side or the fresher side that are going to be really good for summer. So if you're into that sort of thing, make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and if you have, you're a real one, appreciate you. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So I'd just like to specify that some of these are going to fall in a multitude of different categories because some of them are going to be on the more fruity side, some of them are going to be a true gourmand, think chocolate, vanilla, pastry-like, and then some of them are going to be a little bit more on the floral side. So I don't want to hear anybody say, oh, well, that's not actually gourmand, that's actually a floral. Well, sometimes they can fall into a multitude of different categories. So today I'm going to give you a big range of different scents. First up on the list, we have Vanilla Sky by Skylar. Now this is a vanilla, but it is not heavy and suffocating. This is a really light, fluffy, sweet, gentle and kind of girly type of vanilla, but it has the note of cappuccino. I don't want you to think of like a dark, heavy black coffee that's going to be suffocating. This is more of like those vanilla bean frappuccinos from Starbucks. It is just so delicious. It's very cozy. And this is available at Sephora. They are a clean brand. So I've noticed that the longevity of this is not amazing. If you try to wear this in winter, it's probably gonna get lost in the sauce, but when you have a little bit of warmth underneath this during summertime, it helps it to last longer. So although traditionally you would think of this as a wintertime fragrance, this one does really, really well in the hot months because it helps to improve the performance because I love Skylar fragrances, but I have to be honest with you guys, you only get about four hours worth of wear. And what I suspect is because they are supposed to be good for allergies, they're like a vegan, cruelty-free, and more natural sort of brand. So I imagine that they don't have a ton of fixatives and that's why they don't last as long. But the scent profile does really well in the hot months. Another one from Skylar, this is Boardwalk Delight. And this is one of those ones that could fall into a bunch of different categories. But what this smells like to me is it smells like fluffy cotton candy, coconut cream, and clean laundry, which is a bizarre kind of combination of notes. But to me, this has a very strong detergent-like scent to it but then there is a lot of sweetness. So on the dry down, you get a lot of that creamy coconut, you get a lot of cotton candy that makes this very whimsical and fun. This really makes you feel like you're walking on a boardwalk in a carnival or something. This one, it's a half gourmand. On the dry down, definitely more gourmand, but in the beginning, you're gonna get that fresh and clean sort of feel. So like I said, some of these fall into a bunch of different categories. This is definitely one of them. Now we couldn't talk about summer gourmands without talking about the two new releases from Sniff. So we're gonna start with Crumb Couture. Now this, is a flaky, buttery pastry with a blueberry jam on top. But because of that blueberry jam, it kind of cuts through the ultra gourmand elements and makes this a little bit refreshing while still having that really enticing, delicious, buttery, bakery-like quality to it. And this one, the performance isn't good. It smells incredible and the performance isn't good. So I'm hoping, and I haven't worn this personally in more hot, hot, hot weather because we haven't had it yet, but I'm hoping it's the case that the hot, hot weather will help to improve the performance of this one as well because the scent profile, I have absolutely nothing like it and it smells so delicious. Just think that you're in a Parisian cafe, you're getting a flaky croissant 
with a little bit of jam on top. That's what you're gonna get from this. And next is their brand new Citrus Circus. Citrus Circus is interesting because the first note that you can read on the website is creamsicle. Orange and vanilla creamsicles that you would eat during summer as a child. That's what you're gonna get out of this, but I was happy to see that this has a lot of citruses. So to me, this reads a little bit more like an orange sorbet with some fresh cream drizzled over top because you do get that creaminess, but it's not as sticky, syrupy sweet as an ice cream would be. I think of this as a little bit cooling and refreshing. So it's got that nice tankiness that's gonna really work well with the heat and keep this from being cloying. And if you don't know what I mean by cloying, that's the obnoxious heaviness that you get from perfumes. Another somewhat gourmand, this is called Casilli, and this is from the House of Perfumes de Marley. Now this has a lot of floral elements in it, but to me, this smells like peach meringue, like a thick whipped creamy peach meringue, and you're not getting as much tartness out of this. So don't think of a fresh, juicy sort of peach. This one is more of a thick whipped consistency while still being light and airy because of the florals. And this bodes quite a hefty price tag. Perfums de Marly are very, very expensive fragrances, but do I think it's worth it? Yes, I do, because I think that this is a very feminine, very easygoing fragrance. So this is something that you would wear very regularly. I couldn't see this being too gourmand for any time of the year. This would be a staple, fresh, fluffy, floral, clean, sweet, but also a little bit gourmand element in there. So is it worth the price tag? In my opinion, yes. But if you're looking for a peach that is juicy, but also candied, Think of candied peach rings that have the crystalline sugar on them. That's what you're going to get out of this. So this is Sunrise Moon from Pacifica, and this is on the very, very affordable side. Between you and I, it's kind of funny because I like to layer this with Casilli. Casilli is like $350, and I think this is about 20 bucks at Target, and they smell so good together because surprisingly, Casilli doesn't have a note of peach in it, but this is more of your artificial, but in a good way, candied sweet peach. That's that's what you're gonna get out of this. It's quite simple, but very effective. And I don't find these to fade out too quickly. Because it's more on the affordable side, you can imagine it's not going to be super long lasting, but I was surprised that this doesn't disappear in 20 minutes because oftentimes when you get something for like 20 bucks, doesn't really last long. So that is Sunrise Moon from Pacifica. One of my personal favorite from the groups, this is from the brand Jusse, and this is called Accident Olivini Creme de la Berry. And to me, this smells photorealistic Captain Crunch Berries. It smells exactly like a bag of Captain Crunch Berries. And I know a lot of people would look at that and be like, Olivia, why would I wanna spend like over $100 to smell like Captain Crunch Berries? I don't know, okay, but I bought this and I wear it and I love how it smells. And there is a body cream from Bath & Body Works. I'll show you guys later, but it layers so perfectly with this that you smell like a creamery. You can actually smell a hot waffle cone with ice cream and then a bunch of mixed syrupy berries on top. So you get that doughiness, but you also get the sweet berries in it. Captain Crunch Berries, if you're looking to smell like that, that is Accident a la Vanille creme de la berry. Now one that has very quickly become a favorite in my group here that I have only got recently, but I've gotten quite a bit of wear out of it. This is called Bake by Acro. Now I've heard some people say that this smells a lot like lemon pound cake from Bath & Body Works, but we all know that Bath & Body Works lasts like 10 minutes. Can we just talk about it for just one second? A lot of times people will say, well, that's so expensive. I could just get something from Bath & Body Works. Absolutely you could. And if you need to save money, I totally understand that. But at the same token, is it really saving money when these are perfumes that will literally last 10 to 15 minutes? It drives me nuts. That's why I got rid of all of my Bath & Body Works sprays and I still remain that the only one that lasts a long time is fresh coconut and cotton. That one lasted forever, but I gave it to a friend of mine. But I digress, this is bake from Acro. And what this smells like to me is this smells like a lemon tart bar. This smells like a chilled custardy lemon tart bar with a graham cracker crust, 
with a little bit of powdered sugar on top. You get a lot of tanginess, so you're getting a strong citrus in the beginning. And I won't lie, when I first sprayed this, I'm even a citrus lover, and I almost borderline thought this was a little bit lemon pledge cleaner in the beginning. But then I let it settle down into the skin, and that's where the magic happened, because you got that warmth coming through. The citrus kind of tampers down a little bit, and you get more of that baked good, almost graham crackery touch to it. And this is so incredible layered with other sweet scents, specifically with Love Don't Be Shy, which I'll talk about later, is a match made in heaven. So let's just go ahead and talk about it now then. This is Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. And this is supposedly Rihanna's signature scent, or was at a time. I guess her friend or makeup artist said it in an interview, which I'm like, hey, maybe she didn't want people to know that, but I digress. This one, you have a strong orange blossom. So this could definitely fare in the more floral category, but you get a marshmallow in here. You get a fluffy marshmallow, and it almost kind of reminds me of the little heart candies that you get at Valentine's. This is sugary sweet. Actually a little bit too sweet for me, so I use this as a layering tool. And this on its own, I could see borderline not being great in super duper hot weather. So if you're going to use this alone or as a layering tool, I would say use it summer nights. It is sexy. I know that guys like this because it is ultra sweet. You'll smell like a candy. You'll smell like a little marshmallow. And who doesn't want to be a cute little marshmallow? And I am so excited to have this next one in my collection. This is Blanche Bet. This is the most creamy floral that you will ever try. Now, I find this interesting because this doesn't have the note of coconut. I went this entire time thinking that this was a coconut fragrance, but what's creating that effect is it has the note of milk. You get a lot of white florals, but to me, sometimes white florals smell a little bit too mature or they're very piercing and sharp. And although this is a floral dominant fragrance, it's very sweet and very, very creamy. So that milkiness, that lactonicness gives it a velvety quality. And I think it pairs really, really well with the white florals because it helps to kind of soften the edges where white florals can be a little bit harsh sometimes. This is a very powerful and very polarizing fragrance. So if you are interested in something like this, you want something really milky, get a sample of it. I've heard people say that this is their signature scent forever and they're breaking necks walking down the street wearing this. And then I've had some people say that they only get powderiness, they only get the milkiness, or they only get floral. So this is very polarizing, but personally, I would still put this in the gourmand category and is very, very delicious. So that's Blanche Bet by Liquid Imaginaire. Next is a little bit of an unusual one in my repertoire that I'm talking about here. So this is Apricot Privé by Fleur. This one smells like a baked peach cobbler. It's got a little bit of spiciness. It's got a little bit of a gooeyness, but this is not too sweet. So I wouldn't even categorize this as a super, super gourmand, but once it settles onto the skin, it does have this beautiful, faint, almost peach cobbler-like scent with the spices. But if you are somebody who is just warming up to gourmands, you're not really a gourmand person, I would definitely steer you in this direction because it is mild. It's not too sweet and it's very gentle. And I love Fleur for more beginner fragrances because they sit a little bit more intimately on the skin and so they're not going to be suffocating to new noses to fragrance games. That is Apricot Privé by Fleur. So earlier I talked about Crumb Couture being a buttery flaky pastry with some jam on top of it. So this one is similar but this one I find a lot more refined. So this is one umbrella for two from the brand Floraiku. So where this differs is you're not getting that very strong buttery sort of scent. Instead, you're getting a almost black tea-like scent, but this also has almost a blueberry jam touch with a really strong added note of citruses. So imagine you're having a blueberry tart, not one that's super buttery, with a hot cup of black tea that you put a little bit of lemon into. So you're getting a lot of these aromatics, but this is significantly less sweet than Crumb Couture. So if you want something that's really sweet, you'd go with Crumb Couture. And if you want something more on the natural, you're getting wafts of something in the air, but you're not putting your nose right into a 
Tarte. That is one umbrella for two from Floraiku. Now to talk about this one. This is from Kayali. This is called Yum Pistachio Gelato. And this was an incredibly controversial release from the house because a lot of people were saying that this is simply not as gourmand as it was advertised because this does have a freshness to it. You are getting a citrus in the beginning. Once it settles down into the skin, I personally get a load of cotton candy and I do get the pistachio gelato, but this is not as nutty as a lot of people thought. So this is definitely a spring summer take on a gourmand fragrance. This is not going to suffocate you. And I personally find this delicious, but I'm gonna say one thing. I feel like a lot of people judge fragrances very harshly. They do not let them sit. And if I'm gonna tell you one thing about Kayali fragrances is you need to spray them you need to put them without the cap in your closet so that way it can aerate a little bit longer. And I've noticed when you do that, the performance really amplifies, the scent really amplifies, and it changes and it richens up. And in the beginning, I'll admit, this was pretty fresh and powdery. A lot of people said, oh, it smells like baby wipes. I didn't get that. I got a lot of cotton candy and I got pistachio gelato, but it was a little bit sheer. And as I let that sit, that sweetness, that creaminess came through. If you didn't like this in the beginning, perhaps give this a little time to macerate and you might change your opinion. And I think that goes with a lot of fragrances, but particularly Kayali fragrances. They need time to sit. Now this one is absolutely the most gourmand of all of them that I'm going to talk about. And this is Chirosa 71 from Sol de Janeiro. Now this is not the scent of their bum bum cream. This one has caramelized vanilla and macadamia, but to me, what this smells like, caramel buttered popcorn, or it smells like Lego waffles with syrup on it. It is sticky sweet. So to me, this is gonna be another one of those ones that in the high, high heat of the daytime, it's a little too much. But in the evening time, you pair this with the original Bum Bum Cream. Oh my God, talk about a magnet. That is sexy and it's sweet and it's playful. It's still a little bit sophisticated. It's not childlike. And for a body spray, these actually last a very, very decent amount of time. And you layer this with the cream and you're gonna get even more longevity. So if you wanna smell like buttered popcorn with caramel sauce on it, I would go with Chirosa 71 from Sol de Janeiro. Next is from a dupe house, but this is actually an original scent from the house. So this is from Alexandria Fragrances and they make dupes, but they seriously make some of the best quality dupes. So if you're ever looking for something specific and you don't want to spend the money on the $400, $500 fragrances, I would definitely check out Alexandria Fragrances. And I would check out their originals because this is called Cacao Dreams. Now, chocolate, is one of those notes that I would rarely recommend during summertime because it can so quickly get so suffocating. But what's interesting about this, and I've noticed all of the fragrances that I've tried from Alexandria fragrances, they are powerful. And I mean like 14 hours plus powerful with a massive bubble around you. But with this one, it's almost like a powdery chocolate, like a Tootsie Roll. So it's sweet but the projection on this is not massive. It does last a long time, but it's not going to create this humongous bubble around you, which is why I say this is the only chocolate fragrance that I would recommend for summertime because it's fluffy and light. It's almost like a diet chocolate because you get that lovely blast of creaminess, sweetness, and a little bit of powderiness. And that is Cacao Dreams from Alexandria Fragrances. Next, I'm sure you guys know this bottle because La Via Belle, the original, is one of the most cult classic fragrances that are out there. But this is actually a new 2023 flanker. This is called Iris Absolute. And as you can imagine from the name, Iris is really, really amped up in this formulation. So the way that this differs from the original is that you get a whole lot of powderiness, but this has the added note of fig. So it gives it this beautiful, sweet, but earthy feel to it. That fruitiness is not so sour as it would be with other fruits. You're getting it more of a floral component. You're getting a sweetness, but you're also getting a little bit of earthiness. The original is tooth achingly sweet with a strong orange blossom and patchouli. And I personally like this one so much better because I love that powdery iris and the beautiful addition of fig. And if you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, I said, 
that fig is going to be the next big thing. And then bam, here we have it. It's a lovely addition to a gourmand fragrance while tampering it down and making it a little bit more palatable because I know a lot of people do not like the original. They say it's way too sweet. So if it was too sweet for you, I would try Iris Absolute from Lancome. Next is from one of my favorite houses of all time. I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about Define Me fragrances, and this is the scent Rami. Now, this is interesting because this has a lot of notes that seem like they would be heavy. You've got benzoin, you've got vanilla. You would think that this is a very, very winter fragrance. And although it would be fabulous in winter, this smells like a fluffy angel food cake. It is very delicate. It's got a warming quality to it. You can almost imagine a little powdered sugar on top, but once again, it's not too sweet. And you almost get a little hint of if you made an angel food cake, but you added a little bit of dark cherry syrup into it to give it a light pink marbled sort of effect. I do not like cherry fragrances. I feel like all of them smell like cough syrup. This only has a little hint that gives it a delicate sweetness and balances out the more fluffy notes. If you wanna smell like a snack, this has a really, really good performance to it. Gotta give a shout out to the bottle. This has clear quartz, so if you're the sort of person that's into the healing properties of crystals, this has it right in the bottle. Next on the list is Strawberry Kiss from Sphinx. Now this is an interesting scent because this has notes of cupcake, burnt sugar, caramel. So you think it would be very sickeningly sweet, very heavy, very, very gourmand. But to me, this does not read as any of those notes. This to me, it smells like a fizzy strawberry soda. It has a little bit of powderiness in the base. So on my skin, this reads a little bit more like a strawberry Fanta. It's fizzy, it's sweet, it's sparkling, and it's a really, really refreshing one for summer because of the tanginess. Because when I originally got this, I thought the notes looked a little bit too heavy. I was excited for winter, but I never imagined that this is actually a lot lighter and fizzier than expected. And the last one on the list is from Salt Air. And this is actually a fragrance mist, but for eight fluid ounces, this is only $15. So the scent of this is called Pink Beach. And from what I've heard from other people, the spray smells a lot better than the oil. Haven't tried the oil myself, but that's just what I heard from people. To me, this is one of those ones that borders on the edge of being gourmand, but also being a little bit floral and also kind of suntan lotion. So in this, you have creamy coconut, almond blossom, and vanilla. And I definitely get that creamy coconut vibe. It is very smooth and sweet with a delicious vanilla, but it does have a slight beach type feel to it. This is only $15 and that is from Salt Air and it's called Pink Beach. So that's all I have for the perfumes, but we're gonna move on to a little added bonus of my more gourmand lotions. The most obvious choice is going to be Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream. Now, if you've never tried this, this is so delicious. You have almond, you have pistachio, you have caramel, you have vanilla, yet somehow they're able to do it in a way that is not too thick and suffocating. It is smooth and it is so delicious. So this honestly would layer with 90% of the fragrances that I just talked about. Next, although this is discontinued, I feel like this comes back quite a bit at Bath and Body Works and this is called Fairy Tale. Now this has pomegranate nectar, so it gives it a sweet syrupy fruity touch along with fresh orange blossom that gives it a little bit of a floral element and vanilla bean and warm amber. So this one is on the more floral side, but this reminds me of YSL Lieb if you were able to take out that really obnoxious medicinal lavender that's in there. So they have like extrait and Le Parfum that is not so lavender dominant. That's what this reminds me of. So you're left with that beautiful warm like bourbon vanilla. Another one that you might have to do a little looking, but this is Sunset Glow by Bath and Body Works. This has fresh coconut, sparkling cherry seltzer, moonflower, and caramelized vanilla. And this one actually pairs with Strawberry Kiss so well because this also has almost like a soda-like quality, but then has those richer notes that I was hoping to see more of in Strawberry Kiss. Originally when I got this one, I thought it was very kiddish, but this is Berry Waffle Cone. And if you can hunt this down, I love this scent because this pairs so well with Accident Olive Knee Creme de la Berry that I said smells like Captain Crunch Berries. You will smell like an ice creamery, that's it. 
and it smells like a berry waffle cone. There's no two ways about it. It's very photorealistic, Captain Crunch Berry sort of smell. So if you're into that sort of smell and you want a good layering, this and the Jusse together, amazing. Okay friends, so that's all I've got for today. I hope you enjoyed looking at these summer appropriate gourmand fragrances with me and make sure you tune in next week because I have another video coming your way every Saturday 10 a.m. PST. Thank you guys for watching and until next week, take care of yourselves my friends.